In today's video, we're going to be installing the Flowmaster FlowFX direct bolt-on muffler onto one of these Ram pickup trucks. So let's get started. All right, welcome back to today's video, you guys. So yes, we have the direct fit, direct bolt-on Flowmaster Flow Effects muffler. So this system is made ready to go. One of the cool things about these Ram pickup trucks, uh, specifically this model with the factory dual exhaust, is you don't necessarily have to change the whole exhaust system. So we've already upgraded the exhaust tips, but other than that, the exhaust system is still fully stock. So what they've done is they've developed this direct bolt-on muffler system. So we don't have to cut anything, no welding. We don't have to go to a greasy muffler shop and get this job done. We can do it right here in the driveway with some simple hand tools. So before we unbox this and get going, I wanna give you guys a sound comparison for sure. This is one of the most important parts and everybody goes on YouTube to look for this stuff. So this thing is bone stock other than the exhaust tips. I wanna show you guys the sound clips of this thing stock and then we'll compare it to afterwards. So here's what she sounds like. Bone stock, you guys. So you can see we've got the Flowmaster exhaust tips. If you guys are interested in these, they are super nice looking. And honestly, it made it a little bit more aggressive sound. Nothing inside, but did make a little bit aggressor tone in the back, even uh, with the stock system on it. So, as you can see, can't really hear anything. We need to sound like that. Not much to hear. Let me give it some revs for you guys. All right, so that's how she sounds stock. Only thing on this really is just the intake. I made a video for you guys on this bolt-on intake from Flowmaster as well. So if you guys haven't seen that video and you guys want that deep aggressive sound, if you guys notice, it does sound pretty aggressive uh, on acceleration with just this intake, but having the intake and exhaust is gonna make for an all-around better package. So let's go ahead, pop this open, show you guys what's in the box, and then we'll get to work. So here we go. So there she is, boys. So a direct fit bolt on muffler. She looks shiny. Let me get this out of this bubble wrap. All right, I'm not gonna lie, you guys. I've owned enough of these trucks and put on my fair share of bolt on muffler systems, direct bolt ons. This is a freaking nice piece. Like, check that out. This is the shiniest bolt on muffler I think I've ever seen for these trucks. Man, I cannot get over how shiny this freaking muffler is. But regardless, comes with clamps as well. Let's get to work. We can go ahead and with some simple hand tools. Um, like I said, just got some simple hand tools. Got some gloves and some WD-40 will help with the uh, rubber isolators. So you're gonna have to take off the rubber exhaust hangers and WD-40 really helps get them off. The other thing I'm gonna do, even though it's not necessary, is I'm gonna remove my exhaust tips because I don't want them to get dinged up on the bumper because we are gonna have to slide the exhaust system back so that we can get our muffler out. So just two 13 mil bolts and I can pop those off so that we make sure they don't get dinged at all. All right, so now that the exhaust tips are removed, Here's the rubber isolators that I was mentioning. So if you try to move them, they'd barely want to move. But essentially, if we just put a little bit of WD-40 on them, we can slip them off. So there's going to be the one hanger here. You see the one there, that one has to be removed. And that's the only thing that's holding this pipe into our muffler. And then let me show you on the other side. And then on the passenger side, we've got this isolator here. And it just goes right into the muffler back there. So let's go ahead, we'll loosen the two clamps on our two pipes that come out of the muffler and go from there. All right, so here we are under the truck. So even though this vehicle is from the south, it doesn't hurt to put some WD-40 inside the joint and then also on your hardware. So we'll go ahead, loosen this front clamp on our muffler. This is the muffler here. And then there's the two back there that I also have soaking in WD-40 and we'll loosen up these clamps. So our front clamp and these two clamps are loose. Now comes the fun part. 
Got to wiggle these out of here and wiggle the muffler off the main pipe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put WD-40 on this isolator. We'll take that off and then we're going to wiggle this pipe free from here. So there we go. Isolator is off. Now we wiggle and jiggle. All right, so not exactly a bad problem to have, but we ended up getting it off the front there. So all our wiggling and then jiggling disconnected it from the front, as you can hopefully see. So it's starting to come out of here, but at least we got the front one free. We might have to temporarily put the clamp on on the front just to hold everything while we continue pulling this out. Coming out finally. There we go. So this one's out. You don't have to completely remove it, just lay it out of your way. Now let's work on this one. Okay, so we're on the driver's side. We got this isolator off and also that one right there. So this whole pipe is loose. Now we just gotta work it out of the back of the muffler over there. As you can see, it's almost out. Okay, so both pipes are out. Now we can go ahead, loosen our clamp on the front, take off these hangers. You will also notice there's like a like little ground strap on here. It'll be hiding right behind this hanger, which I'll try to show you guys first. You gotta make sure you disconnect it, otherwise you'll have this little cord that's trying to prevent you from dropping your muffler down. See this little strap? Disconnect it. All right, so two rubber isolators are off. So now let's get this big muffler out of here. Okay, so on to the nice fun part. So we've got our muffler, we've got our clamps. So there is one larger clamp, so make sure you get that right. So this is gonna go on the front. We'll get our muffler on and get this clamp on. Okay, so I just wanna point out on the top here, see this slot? There's also a kind of indicator or lineup tab on the top. So on all these pipes, they have them where there's a kind of like a button on the actual factory pipe. And Flowmaster has the notches for that, so you don't have to worry about lining everything up. It just slips into that channel. All right, so our clamp on the front is tight. Here's our muffler. Then we've got our isolators both connected on the back, so everything is good and tight. Now we can go ahead and connect our back pipes. One other thing worth mentioning is your position of your clamps. The top has that notch out, like I mentioned, in it, and then the two sides have slits so that it ac actually can come down on the pipe. The bottom doesn't have any open slits. I like to put the portion of the clamp that kind of squeezes in, because the last thing you want to happen is something, you know, this part of the clamp that closes to kind of crush down oddly on one of these openings. So I like to put it where there's a solid piece of the pipe without any slits in it. And that's where I like to put my clamps, but totally up to you guys. Almost looks like a sin putting this old crusty pipe into this nice piece, but that's in there. And they go in a lot easier than they came out for sure, guys. So let me slip this other one in here. All right, so we got both our rear pipes in here. Another thing as well is just take note of how far out your exhaust tips are when you're setting the depth of these. So double check, put your exhaust tips back on, which you can see I did. So exhaust tips are on. And what we did was just double check at the back, make sure if you have to, um, you know, extend one of these pipes out to make sure that your exhaust tips are flush with the back bumper where you like them. And then we can go ahead and tighten both of these down. So our clamps are tight. Double check everything is tight and good. Double check your work. Let's get out of here.
guys, so there you have it. There's the install and review on this thing. I think there's a perfect balance of having an aggressive tone, but not being too overwhelming. They do offer louder ones if that's what you're going for, but me personally, I don't know if I'm just getting old, but I like having that balance of, you know, it being kind of tame when you're just cruising around, but then you stomp on it and it gets loud and aggressive sounding. So let me know what you guys prefer down in the comments down below. I will link that exhaust system down in the description below and you'll see it pinned in the top comments. And also let me know what you guys think. Give it a thumbs up. Check out the other videos on this channel. We've also got the intake and a bunch of other cool things for these trucks. So make sure you check it out. Subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next video.